What's up, JD Aliens? Welcome back, man. Y'all are following those instructions real good. Okay, so this is the third and final installment of me telling you what earbuds might be a little bit better of a buy versus the Sony uh, WF XB 700s. Now, these videos are not meant to, you know, trash the, the new Sony earbuds because I think they're great. I just think that they might have dropped the ball on offering some features at the price point of $130. So you're getting great sound. You're definitely getting $130 worth of sound. However, there might be some features. I don't know. I just wanted to compare them to some other great earbuds that I think are just the best in business right now. So today we've compared them to the Soundcore Liberty 2 Pros at the lesser $100 price tag. And we've also compared them to the Galaxy Buds Plus at a $150 price tag. So these are sitting right in the middle of these two. But now, what if you compared them to a pair of $60 earbuds? Are you serious? Are you kidding me right now? You're gonna compare these Sony $130 extra bass earbuds to these budget Phil, $60 earbuds? Yes, I am. Let's do it. So here we go. We have the Sony's on the left, the Phil on the right. As I've done before, I'm gonna start with the case. So as far as the case, uh, I gotta go with Sony on this one because it's got smooth edges, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, this, I think the only one thing I keep saying it, y'all. The one thing I don't like about the Phil earbuds is the case. If it wasn't a straight up boxy rectangular case, I would stink and love it. But by default, I have to go with Sony. Now this lid is driving me crazy, but also we have the uh, the lid of the Phil, which is a little bit flimsy, man. It, I mean, it's a solid lid, but the hinge just kind of feels a little flimsy. But other than that, we still have USB-C charging right here. Neither one of these has uh, wireless charging. I don't remember what the battery life of the uh, of the fill is. To be honest with you, I don't care because uh, all earbuds that do over, uh, let's just say six hours, they're okay with me, man. So I, I just don't care about the battery life. But you get one charge of nine hours out of this bad boy right here. Now let's just, oh, did I mention they both have USB-C? I think I did. But let's just go ahead and open them up because the case is the case only matters while they're in the case. Once you take them out of the case and stick them in your ears, that's what's going to be the big deal. So looking at these earbuds, you can see once again, we have like a David and Goliath situation right here. We got this gigantic, just oddly shaped earbud. And then we have this traditional style of earbud that's just a lot smaller. However, the comfort of both are really good. Uh, my personal preference being the fill because it is smaller. I have a feeling that I haven't worn these more than maybe 20 or 30 minutes, but I got a feeling if I wear these Sony's more than uh, maybe an hour, that I'm gonna start feeling some pressure in the, in the walls of my ears. Because this is actually a hard plastic right here and it's large, so that might, tend to hurt me a little bit. Whereas the fill, it just fits right in there where it's supposed to be, doesn't protrude or anything like that. So that's cool. Now I've done videos on all the products I've showcased to you today. So, you know, as far as like extreme details and how they look in your ears and stuff like that, man, go watch those videos. That's not what this is about. I'm talking about value here. So with the Sony earbuds, we've talked about fit. Now let's talk about the, the uh, controls. Once again, controls on the Sony's, uh, they're a little bit cumbersome, man. On the right earbud, you get your play, pause, and your forward and back tracks and Google Assistant. On the left one, you get volume up with a single tap, and you gotta keep tapping it to get, uh, get it to go up. And for the volume down, you press and hold, and it is a, a seemingly long press and hold to get the volume to go down. And you gotta keep holding it in order to get the volume to go down. And it just takes too much time for my personal preference. Now over here on the fill, you got full controls on both sides, which are normally set, okay? <laughs> and within the app, which you don't get with the Sony's, I'm gonna say it again, within the app that you get with the fill, but you don't get with the Sony's, you can actually configure these to be more touch sensitive or less touch sensitive if you want to. 
but we'll get to that in a second. Now, as far as the phone calls, I'm going to give the edge to the Sonys. Uh, they're going to win that category. Not saying that the feel is bad because it's not. It's just it's nowhere near as good as what you get in the Sonys. The Sonys have excellent call quality, just excellent call quality. Um, but where the Sonys fail me once again is uh, single bud use and hot swapping. You can only use one bud at a time and that one bud is always going to be the left ear bud so you can't use the right bud independently it's only the left whereas on the field you can hot swap left to right uh should your heart desire to be on one ear or the other so that's always a plus when it comes to earbuds now let's go into the app because i want to show you some stuff about the fill hopefully i haven't turned them off uh let's see here let me get into that fill app okay connect to fill is it searching okay Wow, distance 41. It said, is that 41 centimeters or what? I don't know. Either way, I, I've never seen that before. So you get your battery charge here. I had to charge them up just a little bit. Let me turn my ISO down so you can so you can see this. Can you all see that right there? Let me get it right there. Okay, so you got your fill app right here. You got battery charge and then you got this little dial right here, which is going to take you to some EQ settings, which there's a bunch of them. But I just, I mean, let me just uh, get that out of the way. So I just like to keep mine on base. And that's where I turned it up to when I tested these out this morning. I tested them all fresh. This wasn't by memory. This was all done fresh this morning, right before the video started, just so I can get a clear consensus of what I liked. This is where it's at, this base one, man. So if you get these fills, keep it locked in on the base one. Ooh, man. All right, so what do we have up here in this app? We got the, it's an audio player. And then you got, all your stuff here you got just low latency mode uh easy mode high sensitivity up uh, firmware upgrades all kinds of stuff man so you get an app and you get eq presets with the fields oh let me turn that that iso back up because you, i don't think you can see me right now let's get it a little bright there we go uh, right about there. All right. So yeah, man, you just get a little bit more when you bring in that app. And that brings me to sound because of that base setting on the app. <sighs> I forgot how good these things sound, man. These things bring the pain when it comes to bass. They know what they're doing. Look, these things are so freaking underrated when it comes to big name brands like Sony. Sony has rested on their laurels as far as their their past winnings when it comes to like headphones and speakers and stuff i think i feel like sony's gotten a little bit lazy man they they call these extra bass and while they do pack great bass it's not what i would call extra bass because these other earbuds that i've sampled uh, including the fill have just as much bass okay so as far as bass on these two i'm gonna say it's a tie because i just tested out these fills and on that bass setting it is freaking awesome oh man you got to get you some of that so yeah man sony i feel like y'all dropped the ball i mean you're gonna call these extra bass if you're gonna call it extra bass is it extra bass compared to what is it extra bass compared to your other earbuds or is it extra bass compared to what else is on the market because if you're comparing it to what else is on the market i'm gonna need you to put an extra bass boost button on here physically or have a setting in your app that you need to create for these things <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, you already have an app that that's a Sony app. Just throw in some support for these earbuds and then include extra bass. So, yeah, if you're going to include the extra bass in the title, then you need to give us extra bass because I've sampled three earbuds, including the fill that have just as much bass, if not slightly more bass than what you're giving uh, than what you're giving us when you're calling these extra bass. So that's kind of a disappointment at this point. When I first heard these by themselves, when I did my initial video, I was like, ooh, these sound great. They're powerful. And they do. They sound fantastic by themselves. If, if this is all you got, you, I mean, you spend 130 bucks and, and this is what you got and you don't, you're not comparing it to nothing else. Great. These are going to sound fantastic and you will not be sorry with your purchase until you've had something else like the Phil T1X or the Soundcore um, Liberty 2 Pros or even the Galaxy Buds. Dude, Sony, you're killing me, man. I really like Sony products, but I feel like sometimes y'all be, y'all try to stick it to me, man. <laughs> and, and I really wanted to like these and I really wanted to keep them in my stable, but man, these are really hyped up on paper, but I think I gotta send these back to the store. This is not worth my money, man. 
It's just, it's not worth my money. These are $60 on Amazon right now, the Phil T1X. Do you see what kind of value you're getting for $60 versus what you're getting for $130? I'm a smart man as far as like money goes. Like I'm a money conscious guy. And when I'm spending some money, particularly on something as trivial as a, a set of earbuds, I, and I think, okay, I'm gonna spend $130. I need to be getting something. I, th I thought I was gonna get more than just the sound. I know that's important. It is. But with other companies bringing so much more to the table for even as little as $60, I gotta put my money in a better place where I'm getting more for my dollars. And it's it's with the feel, the sound with the feel. Go back and watch that video, man. I was so impressed. I, I did these, I did a video on these in like January, the beginning of the year. And I said, these were gonna be the best of the year of 2020. And these didn't even come out in 2020. Awesome earbuds, just, you gotta check them out. For 60 bucks, you can't even help it. This literally, you can buy two pair of these, even if they break, <laughs> you can buy another pair and still have spent just as much as you would have with one pair of these. Ah. So I hope you can understand where my, my, my loyalty lies here, <laughs> as far as like bang for the buck, which one I would pick. I, I should not have to say this out loud, but yeah, man, these are going back to the store. This is not, worth 130 bucks for me, Sony. I, 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 yeah, let's just do that. So yeah, man, I hope you enjoyed the little mini series I had with the Sony XB700s. I'm, 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 I don't know if I'm very disappointed or just a little disappointed, but I would have loved to add those to the stable. They just can't, there's no room for them, you know, especially at that price. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it because I had a good time. And if you did enjoy it, make sure you throw me some emoji hands up in the comment section. Now, let me tell you something, man. Life is too short not to be getting your jam on. Now, with that being said, y'all keep being good to each other. And I got to go make some more videos. Oh, so you one of them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Is that why you are here?